after all this discussion is upsc never restricts you from pursuing your pg or pursuing your dream branch it is the safest job to have in hand because at any moment you want to quit you are not bonded you can quit at any time you want Hi everyone first of all congratulations to all those who have cleared both the written and the interview part waiting for the joining letter and the other category who have cleared the written exam and waiting for the interview in this video i would be talking about whether you can join both the upsc cms and neat pg at a single time or you have to choose among both either neat pg or upsc cms so here i am to clear a doubt regarding this question first of all we will categorize three type of category in which i have taken all those candidates who have already joined the neat pg seat in the march 2022 and they have been selected and cleared both written and interview and waiting for the joining letter in the upsc cms so first of all they have the pg seat in their hand now they will be called by the upsc cms once they got the joining letter in that case they must have completed their one year of pg and they would be left only with two year course of pg so in upsc cms they have to just show their admission letter or the joining letter and they have to write an application regarding that they want two year permission study leave after the two year completion of the pg they will join the respective department in which they have been allotted the upsc cms is going to allow going to permit this uh, letter and they are going to allow those candidates to complete the pg then they will they can join that department but in that scenario the condition is there is no bond liability that means that student who has been left with the two year completion of the course he should not have bond in that particular college or if he has bond in that particular college then he have to pay the penalty of that bond the upsc uh, people are not going to provide you extra time for the completion of bond they will only give you leave for the three year course of pg in which you must have been completed a one year course and you would be left with two year course duration only so if you have suppose three year pg course and one year bond in a particular state then you have to complete your three year pg course and have to pay one year suppose you have the 10 lakh bond so you have to pay the 10 lakh bond to the uh, respective college and then you can join the upsc cms from this is they will allow you to complete your pg but they will not allow you to complete your bond so that first scenario category is over now is the people who are right now doing their counseling and been being, being get allotted in the particular colleges and who have cleared this exam also now they are waiting for joining letter in that case also the scenario is same why because the joining letter is not going to come too early it will take 6 months to 1 year in completing all the procedures so if they join right now also in a particular college then also they would have been completed 8 9 months in that respective college so they have to do the same procedure they have to uh, take the permission from the respective departments and the scenario is same for the bond okay now let's talk about the different category I will discuss about all those people in this category who have already joined the respective cadres, either railway CHS, MCD, and during their job they got their uh, selection in the NEET PG. Then how they can avail their leave uh, during their you know during pursuing their job? So I will talk these uh, category peoples dividing in their respective cadres. If I talk about the suppose railway peoples who are doing you know. So in railway, how the things changes? If suppose uh, that particular uh, person is in starting one year phase, that is in the starting uh, probation period, he is, and he got selection in the NEET PG. So in railway, what happens is in probation period, there is a you can think it is a kind of one year bond in which you have it is compulsory to complete at least that minimum one year of job so that you didn't get any kind of you know uh, financial loss. I, what I want to say is, if you quit your job during the initial one year in the railway, then you have to repay them back all of the salary which you have got from them and extra five lakh in the railway cadre. So, if you get selected during, suppose you have worked in the railway for one month and you got the NEET PG in which NEET PG you have to join within the three four months, then you have to repay them all the money. Then only you can join that job. The railway will not give you the permission to give. You know, at that stage, railway is not going to provide you three year leave. in that case you have to leave your job then only you can pursue your pg but if you have completed your one year duration that means you have completed a one year probation period in railway in after that you get selection in neat pg so again the railway will not allow you to give the leave of 3 years but in that case you will not have any kind of financial loss you don't have to repay any kind of money you can quit them job with a you can quit that job uh, on spot by giving a one month prior notice in that case you will not have the upsc seat in your hand but you will have your neat pg seat if you have completed 3 year job in the upsc cms you have served the railway for the 3 years then you get selected in the neat pg in that case the railway will give you 3 year leave but they will give you non pay leave that means 
uh, during the PG course, you will get your salary from the institution from where you are pursuing your PG. The railway will not provide you salary during those three years, but the railway will give you three year leave. That is called EOL. And in that leave, the railway will maintain your seniority. When you will, uh, when once you have finished your PG course, after that you join, then you will be uh, joined respectively according to the post you would should be according to your you know seniority pattern. So in that case. They are not providing with uh, they are not providing you with money, but they are maintaining your seniority. And the third case, if if you have served the railway for the five years, then you are eligible for the study leave in which they will provide you the salary during your PG residency. You will not get the salary from the particular college in which you are pursuing PG during that course of duration. The railway cadre is going to provide you salary. I hope you got your message. What I'm trying to say is the things completely differ according to the time of duration you have served that particular cadre. So this I have talked about the railway cadre and the same is for the CGHS but the major difference is in railway you have to repay them money back during the initial one year but that case is not with the CGHS. In the CGHS suppose you have worked for the 8 months and after that you get the selection in NEET PG and you have not completed your one year in that case you can leave the CGHS job without any penalty and you will uh, retain your whatever cell you have got during that period you don't have to repay them any money back. But they will not give you three years leave, so you have to leave the job. But you are don't, you are not going to face any kind of financial problem in that. And the rest things are same. Once you complete your three years job, then you can take the three year non-pay kind of leave uh, with the seniority maintained. And if you have served them for the five years, then you are eligible for the study leave where they will, will provide you the salary during your PG residency. So I have talked about the railways. I have talked about the CGHS. Now the left cadre is MCD. In MCD. Initial first year is again the same as the CGHS. You don't have to repay any kind of money. You can quit the job at any moment you want. Either after the one month or the three, four, nine, ten. At any time you want to quit the job, you are eligible to quit the job without any kind of penalty. Once and suppose in the after the completion of four months or three months or one month, you want to get a leave. Then you will get a non-pay leave, but only for a duration of two years max. If you thought of getting the pursuing the PG and taking three years leave, then it is not allowed during the initial years. You are eligible for max to max two years leave, not for the three years leave. But if you have again completed the uh, three years job, then you are eligible for the three year non-pay leave. And if you have completed served them for the five years, then you are eligible for the study leave of three years where they will provide you the salary. So I hope you got the differences in the respective cadres which I want to tell. Railway is quite different in the initial first year. CGHS is different and AMCD is different in providing the 2 years extra leave in the initial phase also. So these are the different cadres and the different scenarios if you got PG admission during that one. So the moral of the story after all this discussion is UPSC never restricts you from pursuing your PG or pursuing your dream branch. It is the safest job to have in hand because at any moment you want to quit, you are not bonded, you can quit at any time you want. You can get into PG seat and any time you want during your job period. So UPSC doesn't block you from pursuing your NEET PG branch and UPSC doesn't allow you to complete your bond. UPSC just allows you to complete your three year residency course. Bond conditions or a bond period, they will not permit you extra time to serve and they will not provide any kind of money for that. You have to first, you know, break your bond by paying the money, whatever penalty it is, then only you can join the job. So these are the two take home messages. All the best. I will be continuing this series and I'm, where I will be clearing all your doubts further, which you are being personally messaging me. So stay tuned. All the best.